What's up, everybody? Hi, my name is Dan Foote, and today we're going to talk about dependency slash package managers. So first of all, what is a package manager? Well, to answer that, we have to start with what is a dependency? Now, a dependency is an external library. This can be a single file or a, a huge suite of files. The scope really doesn't matter here. It's just one less thing for you to worry about in your project. So you can just take this and assume that it works. You can assume that somebody else has already went through and done all the testing required to get uh, uh, a viable product that you're just going to use. You don't have to worry about it working. It, it should work. That's not always the case, but anyways. Uh, now, chalk is the dependency that we're going to be looking at when we do our example. Now, to take a quick look at chalk here, we can see that uh, here it is. We can see it on GitHub. Now, chalk is terminal styling done right, so it's a very very simple package. Uh, we're going to go ahead and import it and try to play around with some colors in the terminal and see how the dependency works. All right. Now, what is a package manager and why would we want to use one? Well, a package manager allows us to download the correct dependency for our project by just tweaking a configuration file. Now, this configuration file will tell uh, your package manager what package to get, what version to get, and sometimes, depending on the uh, the package manager that you're using, you can tell it which repository to download from. This could be important depending on, you know, uh, if your job puts you behind a proxy and you have to download things from a repository that's hosted by you, the institution that you work for, or for your purposes, though, probably not a big deal, right? So rather than sharing copies of these large libraries that you're going to be importing, it's a lot better for you to just share one file that's a config file that tells them how and where to get all the dependencies that your project has. Because there's no point in you versioning the same working package, the same package that you just assume works, it does not make sense for you to have a whole bunch of copies of this, right? It makes it a lot easier to collaborate and work together on a single project if you use a package manager. Now, a couple examples of package managers that exist are NPM for Node, uh, we have Composer for PHP, Gradle and Maven for Java. There are a lot of other ones out there like Yarn and Bower, but Anyways, when you when you pick the technology that you're going to use for your project, you'll want to look at what the appropriate package manager for that technology is. Now, let's get straight into the example application that we're going to do. All right, so here we go. We're about to get started uh, creating a Node.js project in which we're going to use the package manager for Node.js to go ahead and bring in chalk and use chalk to stylize our outputs for our little hello world application here. I went ahead and created the directory already. Uh, I'm using Visual Studio Code, if you couldn't tell, and uh, I really like it for Node.js because it gives you this integrated terminal. It makes it just really easy. You can see everything all in one screen. Anyways. Here we go. So the first thing we want to do is we want to run npm init to initialize an npm uh, package file. Now npm stands for node package manager, which should be pretty simple to understand at this point, right? So this is how node handles packages. Now it's going to ask me a whole bunch of questions. I'm just going to hit enter through it because its best guess is perfectly fine for everything that we're doing. So now if I come in here, we can see that uh, we have a package JSON file. It even tells me, oh, here, here's the name of your project. Here's the version number that you're on. You can enter a description. This is all stuff for if you were to publish this on the NPM site, it would be, uh, you would want to fill this out then. Now, we don't have any dependencies here. There's nothing listed here. So let's just start with a basic hello world though, without any dependencies at all. So I'm just going to name this app.js and we're just going to do a little console.log hello world. Save that and uh, let's try to run it. 
So we'll type node space app.js, hit enter, and there we see it. Hello world comes right up. So we know that the application is running. Now let's go ahead and install our dependency. So if I open up the here, you can see it tells me npm install chalk. Okay, that's easy enough. So that's how we install dependencies here. So we'll do npm install chalk, and then I'm gonna do dash dash save so that I can save this dependency in my package.json file so that if anybody else downloads my project, they will know that, oh, I need to go get chalk before we can run this application. Now, you'll notice that it created a new folder for me called node modules. And now there is a uh, number of other folders in here, one of which is chalk. And here's all the files for chalk. So that's neat. It already handled that for me, right? And if I open up the package.json file, you'll see dependencies chalk and then the version with a little carrot in front of it. Now, I'm not going to go into all the details about this, but uh, I do want to make a note of there's a difference between a regular dependency and a dev dependency. Now, a dev dependency is something that's just required for developing the application and does not need to be bundled with your application when you go to build it. So if it's something that like say you need to in order to compile that's a dev dependency but if it's something that you your uh, uh, the client is going to need in order to run your application like say you're using bootstrap css framework that's something that would be a regular dependency because you would want to bundle that with it all right going back to it i'm going to take a look at the documentation one more time scroll through here and we can see oh here's some code Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to do. It was a little hello world. So here we go. I'm going to grab that, paste that in here. We can see it uses require. So that's how uh, in Node.js you get the, uh, the dependency pulled in. And uh, we store it as a constant. And chalk.blue, hello world. All right, let's save it. Let's see what happens. We're gonna, just going to run Node space app.js again to run this out the uh, the application and look we get hello world in a nice blue font so you can see if i were to hand this to somebody else they could just run npm install and it would scan the package.json file and it would say oh i need to grab chalk and it would automatically handle downloading that for us and then they could start developing this application as well and there would be zero friction amongst the team and you can see i run it but we already have everything up to date all right that's going to do it for me today thank you and i hope that you learned something from this